Hello again, my lion cubs. Miss Hillary here, back to read you another Passover story. Now, last week we read the story of Passover and we learned all about Moses and how he led the Jewish people out of slavery in Egypt. Now, the villain in our story was the king of Egypt. Do you remember his name? That's right, Pharaoh. Now, Moses came to Egypt and said, Pharaoh, let my people go. Let the Jewish people go. Now, what do you think Pharaoh said? That's right, he said no. So in this story today, which is called, let my people go, Moses is going to go to Pharaoh and say, let my people go. When we get to that part, Pharaoh is going to say, no, no, no. I will not let them go. Will you try that with me? No, no, no. I will not let them go. Awesome. When you get to that part, I want you to read along with me. So let's read another Passover story. Let my people go. By Tilda Bals Balsley. Illustrated by Eileen Richard. A burning bush, and it began. As God told Moses, here is my plan. But Moses was a simple man. He said, I just don't think I can. Poor Moses. It was a big job that God was asking him to do, and he was scared. But remember, what is bravery? That's right. Bravery is what happens when you're scared and do what needs to be done anyway. Moses was so scared, but he knew the right thing was to listen to God and to go free his people from slavery in Egypt. So he got a chance to be brave. God wouldn't hear the answer no and said, with Aaron, you will go to lead my people from Pharaoh. Tell him that your God said so. Aaron was Moses' brother and they went to Egypt together. Sometimes it helps to have a family member, a friend on your side when you're scared. So Moses spoke to mean Pharaoh our God says, let my people go. And Pharaoh said, no, no, no. I will not let them go. A big mistake he didn't know. God would deal him a mighty blow. A plague, a plague, a plague. Egyptians to the Pharaoh said, their God has turned our water red. No more fish, they all are dead. Where's some water we can drink? We cannot stand this bloody stink. Pee you. Then Moses spoke to mean Pharaoh. Our God says, let my people go. And Pharaoh shouted, no, 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 I will not let them go. <gasps> a plague, a plague, a plague. Frogs were Pharaoh's next nightmare. He cried, they're hopping everywhere. Tell God to send the frogs away. Then you can go without delay. They're in my oven, they're in my bed. I think a frog jumped on my head. So Moses prayed and the frogs were dead. Then Moses spoke to mean Pharaoh, our God says, let my people go. What do you think Pharaoh shouted? No, 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 I will not let them go. A 
a plague, a plague, a plague. I'm sensing a pattern here. Egyptians cried, oh no, now gnats, covering cows and dogs and cats, covering us from head to toe. Please, Pharaoh, let these people go. So Moses keeps asking Pharaoh, please do the right thing and let our people go. Let us be free. Pharaoh keeps saying no. And God says, well, if you say no, bad things are going to happen. First, there was the blood and the water, then the frogs, and now bugs and itchy flies everywhere. What do you think Pharaoh's going to say this time? Moses spoke to me, Pharaoh. Our God says, let my people go. Pharaoh shouted, no, no, no. I will not let them go. Say it with me. A plague, a plague, a plague. God spread the ground with nasty flies. But Pharaoh answered, hm, only lies. He still didn't believe in God. I'll let your people leave this place. Just get these flies out of my face. When Moses said, it's done, we'll go. Pharaoh changed his mind and shouted, no, 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 I will not let you go. Oh, a plague, a plague, a plague. Soon animals began to die. Egyptians pleaded, hear our cry. Pharaoh, Pharaoh, why, why, why? But Pharaoh still would not comply. Then Moses spoke to mean Pharaoh. Our God says, let my people go. Pharaoh shouted, no, no, no. I will not let them go. A plague, a plague, a plague! Egyptians moaned and cried in dread to see their skin turn purpley red and nasty boils began to spread. But Pharaoh was an old hard head. That means he wouldn't change his mind. When Moses spoke to mean Pharaoh, our God says, let my people go. Pharaoh still shouted, no, no, no. I will not let them go. A plague, a plague, a plague. God counted the campaign with hail and thunder, mighty rain. He'd never been a worse, there'd never been a worse event. It looked like Pharaoh might relent. Maybe he would change his mind. When Moses spoke to mean Pharaoh and said, our God says, let our people go. Pharaoh shouted, no, no, no. I will not let them go. A plague, a plague, a plague. Now God sent down a new command and Moses with his outstretched hand sent hungry locusts throughout the land. They ate all of the food growing in the fields. Said Pharaoh, this I cannot stand. Leave Egypt now as you have planned. But when the people packed to go, Pharaoh shouted, no, no, no. I will not let you go. <clears throat> a plague, a plague, a plague. When Egypt had, then Egypt had three days of night, while Israelites still enjoyed God's light. See, the Egyptians are all in the dark. So Pharaoh, tired of the fight, said, wives and children, all can go. You cannot take your livestock, though. He really didn't mean it, so... Soon he was shouting, no, 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 I will not let you go. Oh, a plague, a plague, a plague. God, through Moses, said, beware. This plague is bad beyond compare. 
death to every firstborn born son, from royal born to poorest one. But sons of Israel, I will spare. So listen now, you must prepare. In this picture, the Jewish people are marking their doorways uh, as Jewish homes so that this plague will pass over their homes. And that's why we call it Passover because these terrible, terrible plagues passed over the homes of Jewish families. What do you think Pharaoh said this time? That plague was pretty bad. And as God struck his final, their final blow, Pharaoh shouted, go, go, go. And finally, the Jewish people were free.